Hey guys, I don't normally do this. Um, occasionally I'll read a Bible story and post it on a, a ladies Bible class group page, but um, I feel really weird about making videos of myself talking, but I know a lot of times people tend to, especially in this day and age, will watch a video and will listen to a video uh, before they'll actually read stuff. I guess it's just human nature to be lazy. I don't know, but anyway, came across something um, I was out on my lunch hour, waiting in line at the fast food place to get my food, and just scrolling through Facebook, and um, looking at the, and my doggies, um, but I was looking at the, uh, again, scrolling through Facebook, stumbled across uh, some news article, and was reading some comments and, about the state of affairs in America today, and, and it, it just really makes me sad, but um, someone mentioned that, um, I think their comment was something like the words of the, the naked communist are, are coming to be. And I thought, what? So um, did a little bit of Googling and realized that there was a book written by a man named Cleon Skousen. He, Mr. Skousen, was an American citizen. I think he was a member of the FBI, but he um, don't know much about the guy. But I did Google something and I printed this off. Um, to look at a little bit closer when I got home tonight and I've done that and I just want to share some stuff with you guys that you may not know. Um, I hope we can all agree or most of us can agree that communism never ends well. Um, if you don't believe me just look at history, look at all the communistic countries and look at what communism has has done for them. Uh, anyway just wanted to read, I'm not going to read all of these, but I highlighted some points because this was read apparently, um, current communist goals. And this was read in January of 1963. This is even before I was born. 1963. Keep in mind that that's when this was read in the U.S. House of Representatives. And history teachers, you all can correct me if I'm wrong or comment and expound a little bit more about this man. Um, Again, I don't know much about him, but um, he wrote a book called The Naked Communist, and this is apparently an excerpt from that that was read to our U.S. House of Representatives in 1963. Here are some of his points. Current communist goals. These are goals of the, of the Communist Party. Number six, provide American aid to all nations regardless of communist domination. Number 11, skipping down, promote the UN as the only hope for mankind. If its charter is rewritten, demand that it be set up as a one world government with its own independent armed forces. There's a couple of them. It gets better. Number 12, resist any attempt to outlaw the Communist Party. Number 13, do away with all loyalty oaths. An oath, I hope you know what an oath is, like when someone takes office, they swear by an oath or affirm by an oath. It's like a promise. Loyalty, what popped in my mind was the Pledge of Allegiance. Do away with all loyalty oaths. Number 15, capture one or both of the political parties in the United States. Capture them. Number 16, use technical decisions of the courts to weaken basic American institutions by claiming their activities violate civil rights. Number 17, listen to this, get control of the schools. Use them as transmission belts for socialism and current communist propaganda. Soften the curriculum, get control of teachers associations, put the party line in textbooks. Number 18, gain control of all student newspapers. Number 19, use student rights to foment public protests against programs or organizations which are under communist attack. Number 20, listen to this one. Infiltrate the press. Get control of book review assignments, editorial writing, policy making positions. Number 21, gain control of key positions in radio, TV, and motion pictures. And every time I turn on my television, you can't get away from it. Even the late night comedians who are supposed to be entertaining us with comedy, it seems like they're gonna bust if they don't have something political to say. 
Number 22, continue discrediting American culture by degrading all forms of artistic expression. An American communist cell was told to, quote, eliminate all good sculptures from parks and buildings, substitute shapeless, awkward, and meaningless forms, end quote. Number 23, control art critics and directors of art museums. Our plan is to promote ugliness, repulsive, meaningless art. And I have seen a little bit of that. And uh, what I've seen, you know, you're, you're criticized uh, because it's an art form. Number 24. This is a this was a wild one for me. Eliminate all laws governing obscenity by calling them censorship and a violation of free speech and free press. Number 25. And we have arrived. Break down cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography and obscenity in books, magazines, motion pictures, radio, and TV. Tell me we're not there. Number 26, present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as normal, natural, and healthy. Number 27, infiltrate the churches and replace revered religion with social religion. Discredit the Bible and emphasize the need for intellectual maturity, which does not need a religious crutch. These are goals of the Communist Party. Keep this in mind. Number 28, eliminate prayer or any phase of religious expression in the schools on the ground that it violates the principles of separation of church and state. Number 29, discredit the American Constitution by calling it inadequate old-fashioned, out of step with modern needs, a hindrance to cooperation between nations on a worldwide basis. Hmm. Number 30. <laughs> Discredit the American Founding Fathers. Present them as selfish aristocrats who had no concern for the common man. Number 31. Belittle all forms of American culture and discourage the teaching of American history on the ground that it was only a minor part of the big picture. Number 32, support any socialist movement to give centralized control over any part of the culture, education, social agencies, welfare programs, mental health clinics, etc. I'm almost done. Number 33, eliminate all laws or procedures which interfere with the operation of the com communist apparatus. Number 34, eliminate the House Committee on Un-American Activities. Eliminate it. Number 35, discredit and eventually dismantle the FBI. Number 36, infiltrate and gain control of more unions. Number 37, infiltrate and gain control of big business. Number 38, transfer some of the powers of arrest from the police to social agencies. Treat all behavioral problems as psychiatric disorders which no one but psychiatrists can understand or treat. Number 39, dominate the psychiatric profession and use mental health laws as a means of gaining coercive control over those who oppose communist goals. Number 40, here's a big one. Number 40, discredit the family as an institution. Encourage promiscuity and easy divorce. Number 41, emphasize the need to raise children away from the negative influence of parents. Did you get that? Let me read it again. Number 41, emphasize the need to raise children away from the negative influence of parents. 42, create the impression that violence and insurrection are legitimate aspects of the American tradition. That students and special interest groups should rise up and use united force to solve economic, political, or social problems. There's a few more that I won't read. Those were the ones that stuck out in my mind and when I read them, I was floored. I'm sure you've heard the old saying, you need to know your history or you're doomed to repeat it. 
Guys, I pray that that we will wake up and we will not allow this to happen in the United States of America. We're not perfect. We never have been. We never will be. But I hope that most of us at least can agree that communism is not where we want this country to go. It's not what I want for myself. It's not what I want for my children or my children's children. It's not what I want for yours. Do your history. Research what communism has done for countries that have had it and pray and then go out and make a difference. Pray for our elected officials, every one of them. Pray for the heads of families. Pray for your local churches. Act like a decent human being. Teach your children and grandchildren respect. Mm. I don't want to see us go down the path of communism, but Again, this was written, or this was read, in January of 1963 in our U.S. House of Representatives, and we better be paying attention. God bless.